morning zero pence here and this is the view from the cafeteria at Bedford's Park in Essex and it really is a beautiful place with rolling hills and lots of deer which I'm going to uh, walk to the enclosure in a moment which is about 100 yards that way It's a beautiful Good Friday. And the sun's shining for a change. Lovely. This is what's described in the um, literature about Bedford's Park. Is that is the Thames Basin down there, stretching right up. And uh, over the views over there, if you walk along, you can actually see Canary Wharf if you've got a good pair of glasses. And that's the kind of views that you get. And I'm going to be walking down to the enclosure for the deer but um, today I'm not dressed for a walk I'm dressed for sightseeing so <clears throat> and my shoes as you can see aren't exactly up to it scrubbling about in the woods but I'm going to go down to the enclosure which is just down there in that gully that you can see it's about 100 yards and this is Bedford's Park Wildlife Centre and you see the window that I was looking through it's beautiful to have a cup of coffee in there and um, it, this is the kind of place that my wife and I come over sometimes and uh, just pull it around because can't walk very far so I just like to bimble and uh, this is beautiful and there's some lovely stuff normally I bring my grandchildren over here as well but they're um, they're going out today with their mum and dad so they're not with us but um, probably either tomorrow or the next day I will have my grandchildren because my son's going to be available as well so that's good and I'm going to walk up here and show you the deer they're quite magnificent some of them Let's see if we can get quite a bit closer to these deer. Well, they've got like their winter coat, I suppose you would call it. They're 
are quite beautiful animals and people do feed them over here and uh, I think they provide food for them in the center you can buy a little cone of it but, Zoom in on them. But aren't they beautiful? They have long fur on them. <laughs> they, don't, they don't care. Um, I'll try and get a really good shot of these red deer now. Kind of weird carvings around here as well, like tiki heads and things all over this place. But this is Bedford's Park. A guy actually rented it from King John. But the, the wood is quite ancient as well, and overgrown. It's 215 acres of woodland and pasture. And it stretches right down into the uh, Thames Valley there. It's about three miles from Romford in Essex. Maybe have some more deer. They really do look red in this light. Moving up to their name. Really, really dark auburn colour. Beautiful. What I will say is that if you're up for a little bimble and if you've got grandchildren like me it's a great place to bring them you know it's uh it's got the information center back there it's got a nice place to have a cup of coffee it's not too expensive and uh i've just come out for a walk god it smells if you could smell what it smells like around here and i don't mean horrible it's a beautiful sweet earthy smell you know just after a rain it's lovely So many uh, holly trees that are around here, but watch them, they're a little bit ferocious at the moment. These are the little ins and outs all along here, and it goes down. I know it goes down to a little clearing. As I say, I'm not going to walk very far, but there's, a, there's not a lot of um, people over here at the moment. There's a, an Easter egg hunt going on down in that pasture over there past the open area and uh, there's a few children over here but as you can hear hardly any it's very quiet but one of the uh, the woods over the back is uh, well we went to we went there to have a look see what it was like but they've got like a gruffalo weekend on this weekend and um it was just packed was just, the car park was full it's got three car parks and they were full so obviously we didn't go there but that's where all the people are because over here it is really really quiet and uh hardly any people at all and as i come around the corner there's two people in front of me always oh, away in it but uh yeah beautiful and if you look hard enough you'll find one a shelter this ain't a bad one it's quite um uh, it's quite robust big big lumpy lumps on it if you wrap the tarp around this you'd be quite or because there's very little foliage on the trees at the moment as you see but Spring's coming, it's a beautiful day today. This is a little log there for sitting. Oh, I'll come back and. This is the sitting area. Nice big, substantial logs on this. As you can see, 
and it goes round in quite a large arc. Excuse me, because there you see. But if you drape some foliage over the top of this, or, so, or even wrap the tarp over it, you'd uh, or some sheeting, you'd be fine in there, I think, for the night. You're not nice, nice and wary up to have a sleep. Only thing is, you can't have no fires over here, so. But, This, uh, this piece of land, uh, I think I said when we was looking at the deer, that this bit of land actually was rented off of King John by some guy, and uh, whose name escapes me, and he actually rented it per year, and his rent was one sparrowhawk a year to King John kind of a crazy thing but it's 215 acres of land <laughs> rented for one sparrowhawk used to have a great big manor house on here as well I was getting cabin fever I think I just wanted to come out and have a walk and a talk I had a great time uh, over here today uh, just just walking about slowly. Coming up to one of the sculptures that's been done from a, a tree. Nice little table, really, to sit on kind of abstract but here you come around at a certain angle it does look like the back of a deer looking at the trees but when you come around the front it looks like a fish tail going into the water very clever and that one over there as well looks like a tail of a fish yeah, very aquatic at one side and when you come around the other, very woodlandy. <laughs> Clever, I like that. But this kind of carving is perception, and you'll never perceive something the same as someone else will. So, but nice, and as I say, nice little table and chairs as well. Clever. <laughs> 